So today's the day. I'm a free man. And if you guys don't know what happened to me, here it is. So two and a half years ago, when I actually like started getting into YouTube, I was like probably two months into it and I was gonna hit 20,000 subscribers. Yes, I know I've told this story before, but a lot of you, like I've read in the comments, they ask for this like story. Maybe you missed the video where I actually explained the story and everything that happened. But today to me, it's a really big deal because I was kind of stressing out this morning. I was like, holy shit, I have a court date. Like I was supposed to go to it. Like I don't even know when it is. I know it was in January. Like what do I do? So I called my lawyer. And my lawyer told me, they were like, oh yeah, we're going to talk to the court right now, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out that it was January 12th and I didn't even have to be there. The whole thing just got dismissed because I did all what I had to do. I was on probation. I never got in trouble or anything. So that was that and everything is good. So talking about why I actually got on probation, like I said, two and a half years ago, I was hitting 20,000 subscribers and for 20,000 subscribers, it was a big deal to me. It was like a big milestone and I wanted to give back to you guys. I wanted to come out with this sick video that all of my friends that were ever on my channel did burnouts, did drifts, did everything. So David drifted his STI. That's when Spencer was learning how to do a burnout and he actually did it in reverse on accident. My friend Alex did it in his D21. A bunch of people just did a lot of burnouts and we created a lot of smoke and it was, it was going to be an awesome video and I was stoked on it. The only person that didn't have a car was Little Willie. So, Little Will, I felt bad for him. So I was like, you know, I got this Acura. Everyone gets so excited when I say that word, Acura. I got this Acura, Will. We were sitting in the DMV one day. And I, don't, I honestly don't remember how this came up, but we were talking about buying cars, blah, blah, blah. And this random lady came up to me. And she's like, yeah, I got an Acura for sale. I'll sell it to you, 150 bucks. I'm like... 150 bucks and this is when I was just like yeah I was going to Bristol Tech at the time I was a senior I was learning how to work on cars I'm like oh I'm gonna flip this thing I'm gonna make some money this is great this is a good opportunity for me because I was still working out in my neighbor's garage so I'm like yeah fuck yeah I'm gonna buy this car so going back to the story I was like well this isn't registered this isn't insured I, I know you want to be part of this video so if you want we can go up this, to this place we can you can do a burnout and you can be part of the video for the 20,000 subscribers. And, and he was, he was psyched. He was stoked on it. I was stoked. We were all, we were all stoked. So we go up to this place, right? It's, it's kind of a dead end road. It leads to a dirt road, but no, nobody goes on this road. So I'm like, you know, we're going to be good. It's secluded. We're going to get this burnout. We're just going to get out of here. We're never going to drive this thing again. I'm going to fix it and flip it. Cause it had an oil leak it gets better. So the first thing we tried, we tried to pull the e-brake. He tried to do the burnout. Didn't work. Just drove off. Then we tried. We took some cinder blocks from my neighbor's house and we put cinder blocks behind the tires. And then he tried to do a burnout. Kept on driving. Then we tried to park it up next to a rock. So he was on this rock and I'm like, all right, well, let it rip started going up the rock so i'm like oh my god like what the fuck are we gonna do and i don't know who suggested this it really doesn't matter at this point me or will let's just say me i was like will there's a tree right there why don't i just park it up next to the tree and let let her rip like wh what what could go wrong what could go wrong with pine needles underneath like fuck it i just turned 18 let me remind you so so i'm pissed my camera just died and i just literally was probably two minutes away from finishing my story. And I just like checked the camera real quick just to make sure everything was all right. And it wasn't. So I, I think we, I just plugged my SD card into the computer and everything. And I figured out where I was and I formatted the thing, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, as I was saying, yes, there's pine needles on the ground. The car's leaking oil, blah, blah, blah. It, it, it was bound to happen. It was definitely bound to happen, but Honestly, I just I just didn't think anything could go wrong. I was just like, you know, Will's going to do his burnout. And it's going to be fucking awesome. And he's going to be stoked. I'm going to be stoked. Everyone's going to be happy. So, perch it up to the tree. I'm like, all right, Will, let her rip. So, instantly puts it in drive. He mats it to the floor. And then, instantly, tire smoke. Like, like I've never seen before. There was so much tire smoke in the air. It was ridiculous. He did, like, the burnout for, like, 30 seconds. I was oh, I'm almost going to say 30 minutes, like... What are you doing, Chris? For like 30 seconds, and I shit you not, it was like the whole road was clouded out. It was like going to Lime Rock at Ready, Set, Drift and like having a tandem go by and you can't see shit. It was, it was crazier than that. 
So after 30 seconds, he gets out. And I'm I'm jumping with joy. I'm so happy. Like nothing no, nothing can go wrong at this moment. I'm having the time of my life. So you know, I I hop in the car. I'm like, all right. Well, you just let her rip. Fuck. I, I can't leave without letting her rip. So I get in. I myself, I give Will the camera. I do a 30 second burnout. I'm letting her rip too. I'm I'm enjoying it. Can't I can't even see the gauges. It's so smoky in here. And then. I stop after like 30 seconds or whatever, and I'm like, all right, I had my fun, Will had his fun, it's time to get the fuck out of here, the whole road is smoked out, there, definitely someone's gonna call the cops, even though there's not really any houses around, someone's gonna fucking call the cops, so, I put it in reverse, the tires spin, so I'm like, oh fuck, so I'm like, I'm, try I'm trying to do this, you know, trying to get out, and... Car, the car, the car is still stuck. So this, this is when my happiness, my enjoyment, my excitement turns into scared. I'm shitting my pants. I'm going to jail. So I'm like, oh my god, the the car's stuck. It's not registered. It's not insured. I don't know what the fuck to do. So me and Will go across the street. We run into the woods and we hide behind this tree. And then this is when I call Orion and try to explain to him, like, kind of calmly, you know, because. There, there was no fire yet, so I'm like, hey man, I really need you to get here, this car is stuck, it's unregistered, it's uninsured, we need to get the, this thing the hell out of here. And then, like, as I was, like, explaining the whole situation, fucking Will is like, yo, the, the, the car's on fire, I'm like, Will, it's not funny, stop. And he's like, no, dude, the car's on fire, so I look, and, like, it, it wasn't that bad at first, you know, it was probably, like, yay, yay wide... Yay big, right right under where the oil is dripping. Figures on oh, pine leaves, oil, you got me. Um so so we we run to the car and we instantly start kicking pine needles in it. We're blowing it. We're trying to get this thing out. Obviously, this none of this shit's going to work. We're pushing pine needle, needles onto a fire and we're blowing it, creating more oxygen. None of it made sense, but in my head and Will's head, we're like, we're going to get this thing out. We're going to get it out. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I, I, we just started getting more worried and more worried. And then it hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. My girlfriend's grandparents live like a quarter mile away. Let me run there real quick. And I'm going to get some water. We're going to get this thing out. And we're, we're going to make it alive without getting arrested. I'm not going to jail today. So... I already talked to Orion at this point. He's on his way, blah, blah, blah. He's doing what he's got to do to get there. And I'm fucking booking down this road. I'm still freaking out at this point. I'm booking down the road. I reach her house. I see her grandma as I'm knocking in the kitchen. So I see her in the kitchen. And as I'm knocking, I'm like, fuck, I don't have time for her to open it. So obviously she kind of she kind of knew me kind of didn't I, I walk in i'm like hey, hey hey i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm tiara's i'm tiara's boyfriend um i really just need some water please don't ask questions i just need water right now she's like hey what's going on i'm like really i just need some water there's just a little fire don't worry we handle it don't call the cops and she's like all right well here's some water blah 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 so i got the water and, and i'm ru i'm running up the hill now and fucking it, it was probably i don't even remember what it was i think it was like a little pot and it was like this big and I'm running, I'm running up the hill like this, trying to get the water to the place. And by the time I get there, it's fucked. And I'm fucked. The, the car is, as Orion and Cam like to say, the car is engulfed in flames. And I really don't even know how to explain how big the fire was, except for just showing you this video right here. The forest is now setting on fire. A lot? Yeah. Like, really bad. Yeah, we really do need it. Like, shit is now flying off the car. Oh, I think that's the gas tank. Engine exploded! So as you can see, the fire's getting pretty fucking big. Now, it's going through my head. It, it's hit me now. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to jail. I'm fucked. It's over. This fire is not... We're not going to get this fucking fire out. Orion and Cam were hitting it with blankets, blah, blah, blah. We tried everything. Fucking tires were exploding. Every The battery exploded. The flames are so big at this point that it's fucking going up the tree. And it's about to set the whole forest on fire. So I had to make a decision. I was like... It's either 
I, I keep procrastinating this and let the forest burn to the fucking ground, or I just call the cops and get it over with. So, I guess I made the smart decision of calling the cops, and I called them, I told them where I was, blah, blah, blah. Ten minutes, fifteen minutes later, like, three or five cop cars show up, two fire trucks, fire trucks are taking it out, and this is it. This is where I'm like, all right, I need to come up with a plan. I need to come up with a story to make this believable and me not get in trouble for this because I, I don't want to go down for this. So, cop comes up to me. He's like, hey, he's, he's acting like my friend. You know, I'm an 18-year-old kid. I've never been in trouble with the police. And he's acting nice to me. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I was driving down the road. I My phone rang. I looked down at it. And at, right when I knew it, the, the, I, hit, I hit the tree. And he just looked at me and he was like, he, he looked at me for a couple seconds like I was crazy. And he was like, all right, why don't you tell me the real story? So at that point, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. He obviously knows I'm lying. That, that was a terrible story. Like I fucked up. I should have came up with a better lie. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm just going to tell him. I'm like, hey, you know, I got a YouTube channel. I just made it not too long ago, and I'm about to hit 20,000 subscribers, blah, blah, blah. I explain about everyone doing burnouts, blah, 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 how Will didn't have a car, how I wanted him to be part of this thing, this big milestone. And then I, 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 I guess it kind of slipped out that I was filming with my phone. And then after that, he kind of just like cut me off. He's like, oh, you have video on your phone. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, the whole thing's recorded, blah, blah, blah. Then he instantly, he was like, give me your phone. And I, I gave him my phone and he instantly cuffed me, put me in the back of the police car. And that's when that was that. And then I was sitting back there. I'm like, yep, I'm fucked. It's over, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to jail. So we get to the police station, and I'm, I will never forget what the cop said right when I walked in with, like, the cop, like, holding me. He's like, I, he, I caught one of the boys from Hag Garage, and that's when I knew I was fucked. They obviously knew what we did on Hag Garage, blah, 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 everything. Yeah. So, th I, I thought they were just gonna, like, really, really, really give me a hard time, so... They bring me into this room where, like, they fingerprint you and everything, and I guess they talk to you, blah, 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 and the officer that had my phone came up to me and said, hey, can you unlock this? And I'm like, eh, I'd rather not. And they're like, well, you, you don't have to, but if you don't unlock it now, then we confiscate it for a couple days until we get, like, the court order that we can unlock your phone and look at it and download the footage anyways, and for that, for you, it's going to be a lot worse. So... Now that I think about it, I probably could have got out of this whole thing if I just said, let me speak to a lawyer, and then they never could, they never would have really knew anything, blah, 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 and it could have just been that, but I was 18, I was stupid, and I was like, yeah, sure, I, I don't want to get in any more trouble than I am, so I'll, I'll unlock my phone for you, and then they pull up the video, and they watch it with me, so there's five or six cops behind me watching this video, and I'm just, I'm just watching it with them, I'm like, how did this end up like this? For the one minute, I was I was having fun with Will. We were doing burnouts together. And now I'm sitting in a police station with six cops behind me watching what I did. And the worst part about it, a part of that video, like when I actually put the cinder blocks behind the tires, I saw Will going to put his seatbelt on. And I'm, I'm thinking in my head, just trying to be funny, like a funny asshole. I'm like, Will, what the fuck you doing, dude? Take that seatbelt off. And like... As we were watching the video, because that was in the video, ugh, all the cops looked at me and they're like, they looked at me like I was the biggest scumbag in the world. So we finished watching the video. I go to the jail cell for, I don't know, an hour to three hours. I don't really remember how long it was. And I waited there and to get bailed out. And then they gave me some pretty hefty charges. Um, They gave me a felony. They gave me two misdemeanors and they gave me three DMV charges. And I don't really want to go too deep into that. So right when I saw all those charges, I'm like, wow, I need a fucking lawyer. Like, I, I'm fucked. Like, this can actually ruin my life. Like, just trying to do something fun. Just trying to do something. Just literally trying to do an innocent burnout that just turned into such a crazy event that I really never anticipated to happen. Like, yeah, looking back at it, I wish I never did it. And I was like... <sighs> Like, I'm just looking at these, and I'm just like, wow, I'm, like, really fucked. Like, I'm never going to get a job with this. I'm Like, my life, they can potentially ruin my life. So, I get a lawyer. I, I go to court five or six times. And finally, the sixth time, 
I got the, I got one of the guys and they said, you know, we have this program. It's called Accelerated Rehabilitation. It's pretty much like a get out of jail free card. You can use that if you want. And pretty much what's going to happen is you're going to go on probation for two years. And like, obviously that was my best bet because the other five times the lady wanted to keep my charges. She, she just said, yeah, this is his own fault. So we just kept going back and hoping for a different person. And then I, I go up in front of the judge, blah, blah, blah. And like, what was crazy to me was like, I think the second court date, Will and his mom came there. Will's mom went up to the judge and talked and said, we don't want to press charges. Like, Chris is a good kid. Like, accidents happen, blah, blah, blah. And, like, we, we know it was bad, but Will's okay. Chris is okay. And that's really all that matters. And we, we personally don't want to press the charges that you're giving Chris. But... I guess that didn't matter. That they didn't really care about that. So after all of that, um, I went up to the judge. I got community service. I got two years of probation, and I was on this accelerated rehabilitation. Was pretty pretty much means is if you're a saint for two years and you don't get in trouble or you don't do anything wrong, then they drop all your charges, all of them erase uh, from the planet Earth, and that's that. So January twelfth, that actually happened, and I'm sitting. I think I explained this in the beginning, but this morning I woke up and I'm like, 2018, January, oh shit, I have court, so I called, I called and I made sure that it was good and it got dismissed, thank God. So, I'm a free man, hopefully you guys enjoyed that story, um, I know I told it before, I tried to just go a little more in depth this time with like all the charges and stuff because... I'm not on probation anymore, and I I think it was in the newspaper anyway, so even if you saw the newspaper, you know the charges anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but right now, I'm sitting in the Rice and Miata. Um, sorry that I didn't post yesterday. Everything kind of just seemed to go bad. Um, I was working on this, the exhausted and fit. We were working on the Turbo Miata. I need a new booster, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's just a one big shit show, but that video will be out tomorrow because... We, we figured out a way to still make the brake lines and still do everything before we actually get the new booster. So that's good. It's getting worked on right now. Like I can literally just look right here and see it be worked on. So like I said, I'm sitting in the Rice of Miata. Um, I'll talk a little more about it tomorrow, but obviously after the exhaust and I'm going to be putting a new rack in it because the rack kind of clunks a little and I don't want to give away a clunking rack. So right when this exhaust is done, this, this car is going to, a winner is going to be picked, but if you still want to enter to win, you can just go down in the link below. You can um, buy a sticker and then automatically be entered. This is sick. I can like drift right now. I'm an idiot. So I want to talk about another topic before I go. Another thing that I just wanted to sum up real quick. I don't really want to get too involved in this, but my acne. Oh my God. Pepperoni. Hamburger disgusting I can't even watch these videos anymore oh my god his channel's ending he's disgusting blah 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 a lot of people were like dude take care of your face like what are you doing and like take care of yourself spend some of that money with your with some fucking proactive like I just I just want to tell you guys that everything over the counter I have tried I've been to doctors they've given me pills they've given me cream I've literally tried everything like, I use three different products every single night. I wash my face two times a day. I have shit in the 135 for dry skin that I use, like, I don't know, three times a day. Like, I try. I have literally have tried everything to get rid of this, and I haven't been able to. So, for people to go down in the comments and just talk shit about it, you're kind of a loser for it. It really doesn't bother me, but it's just, like, annoying. And it's just, like, when I read comments, I don't want to read that. Because realistically, probably in 2017, I definitely have spent over $800 in just like facial products to try to fix this. And it's just really irritating when someone tries to tell you that you need to get your fucking shit straight and like clean your face when I've been doing it all along. But um, I actually just went to a dermatologist um, probably a week and a half ago. I got blood work and everything and they want to put me on Accutane. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I don't really know if I definitely want to do it yet. Like, I definitely want to do it because it has a 
percent success rate and it usually works for everyone and pretty much what it does is it closes your oil glands and there's a chance that you won't have acne ever again in your life but there's a lot of health risks so like it's really harsh on your liver it can create some diseases um increases anxiety like suicidal shit and it's just it's just a bunch of crazy shit and it's expensive it's probably i think i just got off the phone with them today they said it was like 127 dollars a month to refill it and i have to take it for six months so um the honest honestly the money i don't really care about it's just like is the risk worse than the reward is the reward better than the risk Honestly, I've been like playing with those two for a while now and I just I don't know what I really want to do um, But I did want to bring this topic up because I wanted to ask any of you if you've ever been on Accutane If like what was your experience? Like honestly if you've been on Accutane and you're actually being serious Just go down in the comments and be like I've been on Accutane Here's my Instagram and I'm just gonna DM you and like talk to you for like a couple minutes I just want to ask you like a couple questions about it like how did it make you feel if did it work for you blah 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 because I don't really want to do it if it's just gonna be a bunch of health risks and I think that's just stupid but I'm kind of leaning towards doing it I don't really know but that's all I have to say about that another thing that I just wanted to talk about real quick um a lot of people they asked about the DRZ giveaway and I don't remember if we actually like announced who won but obviously there was a winner um, he was from Dallas, Texas. I'll throw in some clips that he actually filmed of them like riding in stuff right now. The dude's actually really cool. Um, he owns an indoor skate park, and it's actually kind of ironic because the um, dirt bike is like mint green, and his skate park is a mint green theme. So it actually worked out pretty well. The dude's stoked on it. He rides it, and I was in touch with him about like a month ago, and he's happy. So that's that. The DRZ is in Dallas, Texas, and here's his Instagram right now. This is actually like his skate park Instagram if you want to go check it out, if you guys like skating and biking and stuff. But last thing before I go, the lift, it's getting fully installed tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so I don't have to be working on jack stands anymore. So that means I can bring the skyline here, and we. the first thing I want to do is I want to drop the rear subframe, and I want to get the S14 subframe in. I want to get all the rear suspension in and get the rear f done first then I want to get the front and then we can actually start pulling the engine doing all that fancy stuff so hopefully you guys are excited about that if you like this video give it a thumbs up and want to subscribe for more subscribe for more give it a thumbs up because we're off probation and it's it's a good day I'm, it's, it's been two years and it's finally over so I'm happy to end that chapter in my life see you in the next one